as in this video we are going to see how to update a particular column name uh, through php script now we are going to change let us imagine we are going to change the name of a particular person whose roll number is 111 okay so how to give name is a string uh, giving a, uh, if i want to change the mark then it will be easy i'll show you that but while entering string variable you have to be careful so for example i'm changing this as update table 1 set name name is a column name name equal to uh, i don't want to change the name now i want to change the mark mark 1 equal to 100 okay uh where roll number numerical columns and all they don't find any problem when you enter within this quotes but when a string you are entering here then you have to be careful first i'll enter a easy one then we'll go for a difficult one equal to 100 okay so before changing this we'll see how it looks Uh, in hundred and one mark one is value is eighty five. Now I am going to change it through the PHP script. See here, roll number eleven. I want to change this mark one eighty five to hundred. Now this will be no problem. I'll show you that. Now I am going to update. So data is updated successfully. This is the last command which I have done. So don't draw no problem. But the student data update successfully has come. Uh, this gets executed because I have given after this uh, PHP code. That is why it's coming here. No problem. Um, okay. Now we'll see the see here hundred eleven twenty eighty five. Now I just. Click the browse that is equal to refreshing. So here, if you see, see the data has been changed, which I have modified from the PHP script. Now I want to change the name itself to something else. How to do that? These are all integer, no problem. But when it comes to the string variable changing, there has to be how to be careful. Only thing is you have to add extra that is quotes. We'll see how to do that. See. Now suppose I am giving like this. I want to do this change only. No, yes. Set name as Kumar. I want to change. Okay. Set name equal to Kumar. Where roll number? I think this will execute, but it will not execute. We'll see why it is. As I have displaying the query, you will see the mistake. See here, unable to update. This is again the command statement. You just leave it. Unable to update data. I am worrying why it is not able to update. So this is what executed. So let me give it between this so that it will be left. Because browser it is displaying it again again. Okay. So there is a mistake here. Uh, I would like to execute this. Uh, I I wanted to show that query. So how to uh, print it? Even I can print here as echo. Now let me see how it is displaying. See. Update table one set mark one equal to hundred. Where all no no I want to right. Why? 
successfully connected. Okay. Now I want to because I want to use this statement. You want this to be executed. That is name to change to Kumar where roll number equal to eleven. We'll see the mistake in that. So this is the query to be executed. Yes, error. Unexpected this. So now I would like to know what mistake it is doing. So now what you have to do is uh, uh, it is expecting uh, uh, this string variable to be separate. Now, so what I'm giving is here and giving it like this dot then Kuma. Now we'll see what mistake it is. Okay, name should be within quotes. Any string you have to give within quotes. We'll see the mistake. Again, this is not correct. So, unable to execute, and the query is displayed here, where it is not entering quotes within that. So there is a mistake. So now. Okay, even if I give like this, it is going to show me the error. See here, which means double quote should be there. So, or single quote, such as, so it, it, because it has to be treated as a string. So, how to do that? That is where this comes. That is how to, you can give like this. Single quotes, open the single quotes, and then you close this and you give this, and here you can give this. So that what happens when I get when this get executed, the single quotes will come for this Kumar, and then here, because now I am closing this string uh, and concordating. Now we'll see whether this gets executed. Still uh, yes, the data gets updated successfully. Data updated successfully. Now we'll see. Because see the command, uh, this is what I want to achieve. Within that single quote should be there. Because uh, SQL accepts single quotes. So how to pass the single quote? That is what we have done here. See, uh, set name equal to, then I have opened the single quotes and then close the double quotes, then concordated, then this a string I am passing it in a double quotes again and then again uh, the concordation again I have started uh, for this string double quotes then single quotes for this Kumar opening and closing of the single quotes for this Kumar so now it gets executed now we'll see um, yes now we'll see uh, where I have changed this Kartik to Kumar now Yes, see, it has changed. So this is how you treat a string variable. Uh, uh, I, we have clearly seen this. See, now the date, uh, the query is passed correctly. So with the single quotes uh, before and after this comma. So how to do that? We'll close the single quotes and then double quotes. So for this whole thing is over. Dot. Then you pass the uh, string separately dot then open the double quotes for this the remaining string and then for this closing single quotes like this if you do then it works so this is how you write uh, uh, string variables uh, within the query 